What's going on there, guys? We back with another one. We got to talk more about Travis Hunter again. I think this topic is going to stay around all year as, you know, Travis Hunter becomes draft eligible this year. And we're looking at what side of the ball he's going to be playing on. He's maintained that he's going to continue to play both sides of the ball at the next level. And so, um, yeah, man, we got to talk about it because T.O. and Travis Hunter went at uh, Richard Sherman for some of the comments he made about Travis Hunter. And obviously, when you use certain trigger words when describing someone's game, they may feel attacked, you know, by it. But I want to listen to what Richard is saying. And y'all going to help me through this uh, to see if this was disrespect or is he just keeping it real, you know, when just analyzing it from a professional level. We see Travis Hunter got down in college, got down to the HBCU level, getting down in the Big 12 now. But, you know, will he be able to play on both sides of the ball? And I, I don't think the question is, can he make a play or two or a few plays on each side of the ball? I think, you know, people are looking at it like, is he going to play the amount of time or, or spend nearly the amount of time he's spending on both sides of the ball in college at the next level? That's the question. But let's listen to these clips. Uh, shout out to Bubba Dubs podcast for the T.O. clip. Let's check it out. So you uh, you played receiver at Stanford and then went to DB. What do you think of Travis Hunter playing both receiver and DB at Colorado? you think it's feasible in the league or do you think it's... No, hell no. You you know that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear you. Like, you talk crazy. But did uh, Dion he... do it a little? A little. I mean, you're talking about a few plays here and there, but right. we're not playing 50 snaps on offense and 55 man, snaps on defense. Snap count, he don't come out the game. I'm like, yo. Yeah, man. that's crazy, honestly. Boy, them coordinators on offense going, hey, they're going to test you. These quarterbacks going to say, hey, we're going to see how in shape you are into the fourth quarter. We just right. saw you run three go routes. I'm about to bring our third receiver in to run you on three more go routes. And then, hey, I'm on the rock. Go ahead and do work. Right. Do work, baby. Bro, what uh, if you. I wonder what he's going to come out as because he's – I haven't watched too much of his games. I see a lot of the highlights. Have you seen a lot of his game, Sure, I have. I have. I think he goes as a corner just because of what we talked about earlier. Like, uh, receivers, his size, he's not a, a special size, and I don't see him as, like, a super dynamic, you know, route runner. He's right. just one of those – he's a great athlete, and he's smooth, so he can get it done. I'm sure if right. he sat there and focused on receiver, he could be elite. But as a corner, he just looks natural. And it's it's back to catching a ball, and Man. he's in position all the time. He's breaking right. He has a good feel for it, and it's so rare. You know what I mean? Like, a, a corner like him is going to up the market. Like, I can't believe Pat didn't get more than what he got. But Sauce is in New York, so Sauce is probably going to take the DBs over 30 or close to 30. So this is what T.O. – and Travis Hunter had to say in response to that clip. And I don't know if Travis Hunter seen everything I just showed, but I wanted to show the full clip for its entirety. I'm watching this the first time with y'all as I'm going through it. So, I mean, we ain't doing it live, but you know what I'm saying. I'm like, as I'm going through it right now, I'm watching the full clip. And I want to put it there for context so you guys can know everything Richard Sherman said. But let's listen to T.O. and we're going to get what Travis Hunter said. Do you think Travis Hunter could play both sides in the NFL? Absolutely. I heard the most ridiculous take uh, from, from Richard Sherman that he said he could, he didn't believe that he could do it. Come on, Richard. Come on, bro. Don't do not do that, man. That For me, that just oozes and just it, it smells like hate. It's, honestly, it, just, it smells like hate. Travis Hunter is that dude, bro. He, he Man, he's that guy. To do what he's doing at the collegiate level, that's it's exceptional, bro. It's like you don't. You don't find you don't find too many in high school. You saw that, but not in college. The last person that to, to do that was uh, at, at, I don't know what the efficiency rate was. Was Charles Wilson? He went up. He, he ended up winning the Heisman when he was at Michigan. I just happened to catch the thirty thirty. I didn't know how much he played on offense, but yeah, he he was like that. He was like that, but, but he wasn't like Travis though. Travis is like that, bro. No, Travis just. Tra Travis is better I, for me. Travis is better than Charles Wilson than Charles Wilson at, at Michigan, and and and, and Charles Wilson was a hell of a bro. I'm telling you, bro. That's a good one, not To. Bro, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's a good. One. And so Travis Hunter responds. He says, "Stop speaking on me. Let me play football." Quoting, and that was just a minute 
a video of what Richard Sherman said. So I, I seriously doubt he saw the whole clip because it wasn't disrespectful as it was contextualized in that one minute. So this topic has me pretty excited to talk about because I have a lot to say about this, guys. Um, just like Ocho and Shannon was saying, you're not going to be able to play both sides of the ball. And so I saw some people in the comments saying, you know, they're going to plug them in here and there. Now, that's fine if that's what you're going to do. But Richard Sherman made it clear, you know, 50 snaps, you know, playing on both sides of the ball if you're talking about it in that way, like he's doing at Colorado, that's not realistic to think he's going to be able to have the endurance for. I saw him talking to T.O. on this podcast and saying that, um, you know, he's uh, been in the weight room and different things like that. But I don't think a human body is capable of sustaining health for long enough you know, to to uh, play both sides of the ball. It's, it's not capable of taking those types of hits on both sides of the ball. It just isn't, okay? And so you're going to have yourself in concussion protocol risk every single week. I don't know, man. The idea, I, all right, so I get it as a competitor. He feel like he can be the first to do something, right? Irrational confidence is how you get as good as Travis Hunter is. But to say that um, you you really believe you're going to play the majority of snaps on both sides of the ball in the NFL, wow. You know, <laughs> that's, um, I, I just don't know what franchise would go for that. A uh, receiver, and, and, and so, yeah, receivers make more now, is what I was going to say. But Sherman brought up a good point. Someone like Travis could raise the market for cornerbacks. So he was very complimentary. What he was pretty much saying was Travis looks more natural and in his element as a cornerback, whereas uh, as a receiver, you have phenomenal athletic gifts. And you can obviously catch the ball and do some great things. You're better than most of them in college, right? But um, they're just looking at it at the NFL level. You know, he says he's kind of bland. You know, he don't see him as a special route runner and all that stuff that matters, you know, at the next level. Um, but as a corner, it's a more natural. And, and he could be wrong, right? He may even be a better receiver at the next level and all that. But I think Sherm is really – looking at it like, you know, from a realistic standpoint. I don't think he's uh, trying to shortchange him anything. And Terrell Owens, let me get to you. Love Travis Hunter. Love him as a football player. Better than Charles Wilson, bro. You sure that's what we want to go with this thing right now? While the young man's still in college, he's better than Charles Woodson was at Michigan? Uh, I mean, you can have your opinion. You know, just like Sherm can have his, but better than Charles Woodson at Michigan, that's that's tough. You know, that's a that's a tough proclamation that he's making right there. I know that's gonna set the comment section on fire. The fact that T.O. said that, I don't know about all that, but he, you know, he's one of the special players in college football. We can definitely agree on that. And he would have a chance to be that next guy after Charles Woodson to win the Heisman. So, yes, I see the comparison and I know why the comparison exists. But to say he's and, – and we got the hindsight of Charles Woodson's career at the next level too. So, you know, uh, yeah, man, that's that's a that's a tall, tall uh, thing you said there, T.O., but uh, let me know what you guys think about this. I'm going to back off this topic. I'm going to read all your comments. I want to know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.